One of the most important words in real estate, all right, especially nowadays, and you might not have ever heard this word before, you might not have adopted this mindset yet, but by the time we're done with this quick training, I have a feeling that you're going to be thinking about doing deals at a whole new level. Hey, what's going on everybody? Cody Sperber, the Clever Investor here. Now, I'm excited that you're here. First and foremost, if you get something from this uh, training, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you smash that like button. It's how you do two things. One, you make me feel good, and two, uh, you uh, let YouTube know that this is a powerful video and it should share it to the rest of the real estate investing community. All right? so. Uh, you know, the word is omnipresence, all right? We're just gonna go right into this because I know your time's valuable. So what, what does omnipresence mean to you? All right, have you ever heard this phrase before? Have you ever, uh, you know, maybe in church or maybe somewhere online, if you're already in marketing, have you ever heard of the word omnipresence? Right now, down in the comment section, tell me what you think the word omnipresence means to you. Now, let me just give you the definition of it. It's the state of being widespread and uh, encountered. All right, the state of being widespread and encountered. All right, when it comes to real estate investing, especially creative real estate investing, essentially what we're doing is we're trying to find sellers that are motivated to sell we're trying to get our marketing message out in front of them so that way when they raise their hand and they say that they're interested in selling their property, that they think of us. Now, back in the day, it was very easy for us to, you know, put a little ad in the back of the newspaper. Or, uh, you know, maybe we uh, did some direct mail or maybe we put out those bandit signs on the side of the road. And back in the day, a lot of people would just do one marketing strategy. All right, and they would get deals. Well, nowadays, if you wanna be relevant, you wanna be, you know, beat your competition to the deals, there's zero possibility that you're gonna be able to start your business and then scale it if you're not using multiple marketing channels all at the same time to get your marketing message out in front of your prospects, all right? So when we're talking about being omnipresence, when it comes to real estate investing, what that means is marketing your message to buyers or sellers, or maybe even private lenders, getting your marketing message out to them on multiple different marketing channels or platforms all at the same time. So that way, no matter where they are, where they're going, where they look, you and your marketing message is there. Now, before we move forward, and I'm gonna tell you exactly in this video how to do it and what channels I would focus on, you gotta understand two formulas real quick. Formula number one is when it comes to wholesaling, if you wanna get your first deal within the next 30 days, all right, the formula is very simple. It's motivation plus equity equals potential deal. I'm gonna say that again, motivation plus equity equals a potential deal. That's formula number one, write that down. Formula number two is when it comes to marketing, all right, if you wanna get results, the formula for success in marketing is data plus your marketing message or your marketing piece plus consistency equals results. So data, the money is in the data. Data plus your marketing message, so whatever you're saying to them and how you're talking to them, the psychology baked within your message, plus uh, consistency equals results. All right, write that one down as well. And it all makes sense here in a minute. So let's say you're brand new. You wanna get a wholesale deal within the next 30 days or less and you're now understanding that, hey, I can't just go put a little tiny ad in the back of a newspaper and get massive results. I probably can't even just do one marketing strategy and get results. I have to start thinking about how people operate in today's world. 
where they're on the go and there's 50 million blinking lights and there's all these distractions. I have to get out in front of them. Cody told me that I have to have consistency, the right marketing message. I have to be on multiple channels, multiple platforms in order to beat my competition to them because the ultimate goal is when they think of selling and they raise their hand, they think of your name because it's baked in their subconscious. So how do we do it? First and foremost, all right, number one, and I'm gonna just give you what I would do if I was you right now. First and foremost, I would, if you can't afford it, focus on direct mail first. I love direct mail, as long as it's done correctly. Now, most people do direct mail wrong and they send out one marketing piece, one time, maybe two times, they don't get any results and they just go crazy. They're like, oh my God, I knew direct mail was BS. I wasted my money. I wasted my time. This is some, you know, BS and you know, I'm gonna go do something else and they quit. And then they go around and they tell everybody at the local RIA meeting, direct mail doesn't freaking work. It's too competitive. It doesn't work in today's market. Well, yet here I am and my students and we're all hyper targeting the right data and we're putting the right marketing message in front of them and we're consistent and we're getting massive results. So let's just start thinking like an omnipresent marketer. Number one, direct mail. Here's what I want you to understand about direct mail. Think of it like a funnel, all right? So let's take Chandler, Arizona, all right? That's one of my target markets. At the top of the funnel is every homeowner in Chandler, Arizona. And let's just, I'm making this number up, but let's just call it 600,000. I don't know if it's that many, but you know, let's just call it 600,000. Well, this is, if I wanted to send direct mail to every single homeowner in Chandler, Arizona, that's 600,000 mail pieces. The cheapest direct mail that I send out to people is 35 cents. Well, I don't know what that costs because I don't have a calculator, but that's expensive. And I, there's no way I'd be able to afford that and to be able to do that consistently time and time again. So what we want to do is start layering in, going back to our formula, motivation plus equity equals potential deal. How do I find homeowners that have equity? Well, let's layer in some data, All right? We know based on public records, every single homeowner in Chandler, Arizona that has equity. Equity is simply, if you owe 150,000, or let's just make it simple. If, you, if your house is worth 100,000, but you only owe 40,000 to the bank, that means you have $60,000 in equity trapped inside the house. And unfortunately, most Americans are horrible savers, right? On average, people only save $1,000 a year on average, right? Which is not a lot of money. So most people are conditioned since being a little kid to go to school, get a good job, you know, get good grades, go to college, get a degree, go get a job, work your way up the corporate ladder, buy a house, right? And uh, get married, have kids, that kind of thing. Well, what ends up happening is since we're bad savers, all the money, we think of our house that we live in like a little piggy bank. And unfortunately, if they have money trapped in their house, which is not easily accessible, and they have no savings, when life happens, a, de a death, a divorce, a job relocation, uh, inheriting an unwanted property, the house is old, beat up, outdated, fire damage, flood damage, legal issues, medical issues. I mean, there's a million reasons why life happens. And their house is, all the money's trapped in their house. They need a solution to get that unlocked, right? So why market to anybody that doesn't have equity? Doesn't make any sense. So let's, now let's just say out of those 600,000, you whittled that down to 100,000 in your target market. All right, we're getting a little bit more reasonable, but we gotta keep going down the funnel. Now let's take all the people that equity that live out of state. All right, so let's say that whittles that down to 65,000. And I'm making these numbers up, but let's just say it whittles it down to 65,000. Then we say out of those out of state owners, let's say which ones are in uh, pre foreclosure. I'm running out of room, but you get what I'm saying. Let's say that whittles that down to 410. And then which ones are last vacant? Okay, let's say that's 60, 
two houses. I'm making stuff up, but you get whatever those data layers are, those motivation layers, we can take something that's very expensive like direct mail and hyper target our marketing pieces to only the 62 people in our target area that we actually care about. And then what we can do is we can set up a drip campaign. So on day zero, and let's just call it day 60, day zero, magic bullet, magic bullet postcard number one goes out. And then on day 20, magic bullet postcard number two goes out. And on day 40, something else, like we send a yellow letter, right? So yellow letter number one goes out. And then on day 60, we send what's called a tear sheet, right? So we have a strategy. And in a 60 day period, they've gotten four or five direct mail pieces from us. The psychology is baked in there because we went back to our formula, which is data plus the marketing message plus consistency equals results. And now we're hyper targeting our people. Now that I think of it like this, you got a plate, you started spinning it and you absolutely crushed that because you created a little system and you got consistency. How do we do this? By the way, we use the deal automator. The deal automator is my all-in-one tool. I'm gonna to put a link down below. Um, there, you're gonna see a couple links, right? One is to take my 30 days to a deal challenge. That's where I teach you wholesaling and help you get deals within 30 days or less. Um, the second tool is called the deal automator. That's the software that builds your websites, is your CRM. It has all the data of every homeowner. It allows you to do this lead stacking and data mapping. It, uh, it has you know the direct mail campaigns in there. It has my marketing pieces. It has, I run my whole business from this system, by the way. But we got that plate spinning really, really fast and now we got our direct mail going out. Boom, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna start our omnipresence campaign. We're starting to think in like multiple channels. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip trace. We already pulled the data here to get to these 62 homeowners or these 410 homeowners or these 65,000 or whatever it is. And now we're gonna take whatever lists in data that we mailed to and we're gonna skip trace. And we either use one or two websites to skip trace. One is called batchskiptracing.com and the other one is called datafinder.com. Now batchskiptracing.com is the highest quality data that you can get. And if you put in the words clever investor, uh, when you're going through the checkout process, you get a discount. If you want a cheaper way to do skip tracing, go to datafinder.com, all right, much cheaper. But you skip trace and you take the names and addresses of these homeowners that we're targeting, and now you, you get email, you get phone, you get maybe multiple emails, multiple phone numbers. You might even get next of kin or other family members, their contact information. And you skip trace. And then right, at, right away, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send ringless voicemail. Using the deal automator, we're gonna start sending out ringless voicemail messages to these same people. Right? What ringless voicemail is, is the, the voice message, the phone number rings, it's like slide dial, but for business, so you can send them in mass. and. Uh, you can get out and you start ringless voicemailing people. Hey, sorry to bother you. I'm, I normally don't cold call people like this, but me and my business partner, or if you're a real estate agent, you could say, I have a client that has cash that's looking to buy a property in your area. Look, I'm, like I said, I, I'm not trying to be intrusive, but if you want to sell for any reason, we want to write you a top dollar cash offer. And you get this ringless voicemail going out, but you set it to go out every single day of the week, right? Depending on how many leads you have, for an hour or two a day. And the ringless voicemail system just starts firing out these voice messages in mass. And all of a sudden the people, they're like, oh, why you're, why, why? they're getting direct mail from you and they're getting voicemails from you. So now they're start, you're starting to become omnipresent in their lives. Well, since you've already skip traced and you have, their, you have the data, right? The phones and emails, let's go to the next thing. Let's go to the next thing, all right? What would be step number three? Since we already have the phone numbers, let's start a text message campaign. 
All right? And you would use a service called textmagic.com. Take your phone number, slam them into textmagic.com and start your text campaign. Do the same apologetic, sorry for bothering you conversation and start texting people. All right. Hey, I'm looking to buy a house in your neighborhood. My business partner came across your, your house. Sorry for bothering you. Don't mean to be intrusive. We won't text you again. Uh, but if you respond to this, if you want a top dollar cash offer, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll write it up and come meet you and see if we can put a deal together. So now all of a sudden they're getting direct mail. They're starting to get ringless voicemails. They're getting text messages. And now we can go on to number four. All right. What's something else we can do? We have their address, let's go and door knock them. Be very easy to hire people on Craigslist and say, hey, I got a list of addresses, here's a flyer, go knock on their door, if they're not home, leave the flyer, if they are home, introduce yourself, let them know you work for a real estate investor and that I have cash and I'm looking to buy their house. If you start up a conversation with them, just literally call me on the phone, get me on the phone and I'll help close the deal. All right, so now they're getting knocks on the door, leave behinds, text messages, ringless voicemails, direct mail. We have their email address. Well, maybe one of those email addresses was used to set up their social media account. So searching on Facebook or on you know, LinkedIn or on Instagram, trying to find the homeowner either by their name or their email address or their phone number, then what you can do is you can DM them. How easy would it be to get your virtual assistant to start DMing people and saying, hey, right? You just give them a list of all the addresses and they just go one by one, copy and paste a direct message that you wrote, looking to buy a house in your neighborhood, same marketing message. Now they're getting in their DM. Now they're getting it door knock, a, a, a flyer, leave behind. They're getting text messages, ringless voicemails, direct mail. Are you starting to get it? Are you starting to understand what becoming omnipresent in somebody's life? means being all places all the time. This is how you get from deal zero to deal one in the shortest time frame possible. You have to be an aggressive marketer if you want to win the game nowadays. I'm telling you right now, the reason my, me and my business partners kill it here in Arizona, one of the most competitive markets, is because we're omnipresent. We use systems and processes and we're, we're strategic about our marketing. We're not playing around, we're, we're, we're out there to get deals and get them quickly. Now I know so many people that waste so much time worrying about the dumbest stuff, their business cards and their websites and their, I, don't, I love networking, I love going and talking to people, but you gotta buckle down in your first 90 days. You gotta go all out of salt on your marketing in your first 90 days. You get some deals, and I'm telling you right now, everything changes after that. You could go build the perfect business and build all the systems and scale your team but this is how to go from zero, zero to one deal in the shortest time frame possible. Down below this video, I have a link where I actually take you and I show you how to pull all of this together. I just told you the what, now how to go and do it. You gotta click the link down below and I'm gonna take you to the promised land. It's my 30 days to a deal challenge. It's where me and my team working with a group of you guys all at the same time, you're in our private Facebook community, you're getting access to three of my best-selling courses, absolutely free. You get my marketing pieces. You get everything that you need to get out there and dominate. And we just kick butt. 30 days, get some deals, let's go. The other link is to my deal automator. And this is my all-in-one real estate investing software that I run my business by. You know, if you wanna scale your business, you wanna take it to the next level, you wanna do this, you wanna be able to get the data, you wanna have the marketing pieces, you wanna be able to click one button and send out direct mail for 35 cents and build the campaign and set it and forget it, it's all done within the Deal Automator. So click that link to learn more about that software. All right, what do you guys think? Right now, if you got something from this, I know this video went a little long, but if you got something from this video, smash that like button for me, hook me up and uh, let the, YouTube know, let the YouTube, let YouTube know that uh, this is a great video and it's something that should be shared out to the real estate investing community. It makes me feel good and it helps me out in a major way. Promote getting out of the rat race. We don't have to live our whole lives following society's rules and, you know, 
live stuck financially. We can use real estate as a platform to break free. I hope you got something from this. Drop me a comment down below with the question um, or a takeaway. It helps me understand what future videos to create. So if you're like, Cody, I really want you to talk about this, put it in the comment section down below uh, so I can get inspired to do another video. And uh, also make sure you subscribe uh, to my channel if you want to see future videos. That's all I got. Till next time. I'm Cody Sprover, The Clever Investor, signing off for now. Get out there, be omnipresent, and kick some butt. Take care, comb your hair, Sperber out.